Shut the fuck up. I was sleeping, you speckle blue asshole. Eh, you're lucky you didn't wake Barry up, because he is over 9,000 confirmed kills, you idiot. You've only got 4,000. Well, I have uh, two things to tell you. One being a question, uh, which is, I haven't seen Hooch for the past few days. Past yeah, few days. Do you know because I sent him back. Yeah, because I sent him to the mainland. Oh, why? I just didn't like him. Oh. Well, anyways, uh, the second thing is about a uh, story. So, um, and I also can, can kind of want Barry to, uh, Barry to, I'll uh, to, I'll uh, listen to this, so, uh, Barry? Well, he's sleeping. I'll, ju I'll just tell him later. Just tell me and I'll tell him later. Alright, so, years ago, there was an engine there that was, uh, that was an ex, that was an experimental engine. Although, he was placed and stored somewhere because he didn't work right. One of those so, told me why do we need to know this? Well, I don't want him to, um... Well, I kind of want to find him. Uh, because I'm... What's his name? I, I... I think his name is, like, uh... Paul? I think? I think that's his name. Well, I don't know who this there is. So, why don't you go find him? I have to my passenger service. Fuck you, Will. Well, at the same time, I also don't want to, to do this, this journey alone. You do it. You know it. You know the story. There must be clues around where the story takes place. Although I don't know where he is, some engine just some engine just gave me some uh, information, or like or or like the only thing they knew about it. Yeah. Uh, so. We should, we should steamer him. Sorry, um, I, I just wanted to um, ask you a question about why the stars came over there. They've, they've been there for years, haven't you? Just... They've been there since the early 40s. The early 30s. Why is there a black one at the back? Usually, usually old drivers would paint them into this livery, so look at the back. You'll see where the engine is. I, Does it say anything? I don't see a number on it. Only the box on Well, does it say the no. location? No. Just, uh, the other Wait. I do see some, uh, letter. What does it say?
Mm. I, guess I, guess I guess the driver wanted the engine to be found, so why not head there? Is he here? Steve's just... probably. I guess he's having a mental breakdown now. No, he's having a mental. Ah, he's having a mental breakdown, mate. That's his mental breakdown face. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna do something quickly. I have heard that he's known to wear face masks. What do you mean? What do you mean demons wear face mask? I guess demons don't want to see his face. I I guess he doesn't want engines to see his face. While I'm gonna check, I never heard of someone. I never. Why you? Why you? Why you? Why you? Why you? See ya. That engine looks so depressed. Yeah, yeah. But look, remember where is this engine? There's a little shed here. I'll see where Will is to let him know about this old shed. It looks like it's locked shut, so. Ugh, this shed looks weird. It's locked compared to all the other ones. Seems to be a five digit lock. In this. <sighs> wait. I wait, think I found him. Wait, okay, wait. so wait, hold on. Okay, so. Is hey, this. Uh, is it. Hey, Will. Well, yeah? did, you, uh, did, did you know this engine's yeah. number? Um, I. Uh. I. Um. From what the engine told me, it from didn't tell me its number. So. I should be able to guess one. Three. Four. Wait. Wait. Uh. Wait. It worked. Uh, oh, wait. It's an engine. You did the honors. It's an, um, it's an engine with the. Wake him up. Four, five, one, five, three. Uh, anyway. And if we look at the tender, an engine of the same class. So, well, do your thing. Blow the whistle. Actually, I'll blow my whistle. Easy. 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 Do that. Uh. 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 Hey, uh, mate, your name? What's your name, bud? It's a d door. It's, a it's open. It's open. Who's there? My name's James from the North Western Railway. Oh, well, oh, um. Well, um, I'm Paul. I was stored here in a uh, shed for. I don't know how long. Wait, wait. Uh, what year is it? Oh, what? It um, um, must have been a long time though, since I don't even know. What the? Um, well, my partner here has your tender. Let me get a view. Alright, so. We found him. Wait, um. Wait. I found him. Yes. You, you found him first, so. Um, you get the tender, I'll pull him out. Right, couples. That's a good idea. Thank you. Yeah, I agree with that. It'd be a smart idea. Well, Paul, you're getting saved. Thank you. I have a thing deep outside of the I don't know how. Oh, is this your tender? Uh, yep, it's my tender. 
We found it. It had the coordinates to you. All of the tender is out of coal. So, um, yes. Well, you take him in the tender while I I find any paper linking to the time period that seems locked up. Alright, so. Forward. Alright. Well, well, let's go. Well, now that you're restored and and out of the working order. So, I mean, well, James did uh, find you first. And wait, wait. So, uh, didn't you um, uh, pick out the lock number for it? Like, there was a number, so. Yes. No, I just. I just. Pulled out a chainsaw. I just chainsawed the lock. Oh. Well, your tender Much more simple. Well, your tender was hidden with some. with some. the two. a uh, sludge tenders. Um. It was. it was. it was kind of obvious of where it. it of where it was being hidden, but. uh, but hey, we found it. Well, um, well, I'm guessing Gary and James f f uh, fell asleep while uh, uh, talking to each other, and that's what happened. Okay. How long were you in that jet exactly? I don't know. Probably like uh, probably like a ten or twenty years, I think, depending on what year it is. It is twenty twenty four. Wait, I was in there for like forty or or something years since. Uh, I think James said. Uh, something about, uh, about the sludge tenders being hidden there for about, uh, for about uh, 40 years, and I don't know why they, and I know how they weren't, um, uh, stored at one point, but they are finally, um, out, out of that place. Well, now, well, now I'm gonna get some of sleep, so, uh, good night. James. Wait, James? Then Paul, then Paul noticed he was asleep. James? Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't whistled in. <sighs> He's a heavy sleeper, apparently. How did how are those brakes not waking him up? I was going to ask him something about the red engine. But I, I wasn't there something. I uh, wasn't there an engine like called the red engine or something. And, uh, thanks. Well, I guess I just can't. It's a random question. So, I'm gonna find like I I I I get this. He am all with other uh, things and Barry. Make him out. How the noise woke Will up. The moment he woke up, there was silence. Thank you. He thought he was going insane, cause the 
moment more back asleep than always always started. on purpose. Try to ignore them. We'll try to ignore it. By the end, we'll try to ignore it. By the end, they're not. James? And when he looked, James was sleeping hard. James yeah, was sleeping like a rock. James was sleeping like a crap engine. James, you're doing this on purpose, aren't you? I. I have a feeling you are. Will thought. Will th Will thought it was Paul because Will was Paul was looking kind of sussy in the back of the shed. when I was uh, sleeping. E each time I went uh, uh, back um, to sleep. I haven't. I went breaking. Um, you, you sorry kept to tell you, but I haven't actually been. You kept a uh, whistling, okay. and... <laughs> you, you kept a uh, whistling. How could I? My, my fire was put out. My fire was put out ages ago. How could I? Wait. Well, I saw steam uh, wishing from you. I saw your uh, whistle. Well, it wasn't me. I, I don't think it, it was me. the right me. engine. I didn't see any steam <laughs> coming from Paul, so... Uh, so, I don't know what is causing this. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, but I'm just gonna try to ignore this and, and to correct the steam, so... Nothing. Will has a big nose, according to the narrator. No. What's wrong with your nose? <laughs> then he heard a sentence. Willie, he has a big nose. <laughs> William has a big nose. Can you not disturb our sleep, please? I'm not. Will, Will looks ugly. Will try to ignore this. <laughs> Shamona! KFC! Spider Free! Who is making that noise? Then he looked at Paul, who he thought was sussy because James and Barry couldn't sing. No, you woke me up from my KFC. Then who is? Then who is making that noise? Uh, 
Not your nice face. No I didn't! I did it! Can no one disturb or sleep? Please and please thank you. I like mayonnaise! <laughs> mayonnaise looks like cam. Will and Pooh sitting in a tree. K S S I N G. You can't catch me! I'm a gingerbread train! Why did you just... Why did you just... I'm kidnapping James! Ah! Why is James so fucking heavy? He's like... James may be fine with it. Come on, come on, come on. And James may be fine. Meh! Will and Paul sitting in a tree. B-I-F-F-I-N-G. <laughs> More like boyfriends. What? More like boyfriends. No. No, we're not. While we're trying to get some money. Well, oh, winch. <laughs> More like kissing. Who said it was us? It was the red engine, I saw him. <laughs> How about you go kiss your boyfriend? <laughs> no. No. I have a little detonation. <laughs> it was definitely gay. Hmm, how's your boyfriend? I'm not his boyfriend. We are just friends. We are just friends. Okay? Eh. Say that to the judge. You two were sleeping nicely next to each other. We were just trying to get some just a well uh we were just trying to get some a well needed sleep after the whole journey last night. It wasn't that far. I've travelled longer. Have you ever done a non-express run across the west coast and then the east coast main line, then all the way come back to Sodor? Well, to do ten hours of shunting? Well, not really. Although I have been exactly in that sh uh, sleeping, so I don't know why I even needed sleep since I already kind of got some. But uh, so. Anyways, I am just not going to be Paul, I feel like you two would be a good couple. Just trust me, you two would be a good couple. Paul didn't say anything else. And hopped away. <laughs> Finally, I can do my evil plan. What's wrong with you two? You two could be good boyfriends. We're cousins, I know you. Well. Gives, gives Wilder. Fuck off, you idiots. There, before I shove you into fuel tankers and killed you. Uh, Look. Uh, okay, I guess. Three. Two. One. Finally, that ass holds away from me.
all thought it was Barry, so started having a go at him. Barry? Barry? How are you a tank engine? Can you, like... Uh, can you, uh, a shapeshift or something? As he got ignored, Paul started to get even more angry and even more irritated. Answer me. Then to the point where even Will felt sorry for poor Tyler and step in. Okay, Paul, this is Tyler, not Barry. Oh, Barry can't, uh, uh, shapeshift. This is Tyler, one of a, a, a one of Barry's best friends. So, so don't uh, mistake me. Uh, Barry. Barry is a DNR class H3, and this is an E2. So, 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 so don't get them uh, mistaken. Me need water. Me need water. Me need water. Me found water. Uh, water collected. You feeling okay? Hey. Uh, fine. You feeling yeah, better? me just tired. Oh, all right. Well, um... Yeah? Bye. All right. Well... I'll be then Paul looked at... Will with a pissed off face, and then when Will popped back into the shed, Will began having a go at him, sticking up for Ant Tank Engine. Why are you. Why are you. Uh, why are you. Why are you. Uh, why are you. Why are you. Why are you sticking up for that engine? Us tender engine. I. I know some knowledge about this. Us tender engines don't shunt. You, you, uh, uh... How about you shut the fuck up, you s Go back to where you belong. No. No. Us tender engines don't shunt our own... Our, our, our own coaches. You, you, uh, you, uh, tank engines. Be the station pilots and shunt them for us. Uh, what do you have to say about that? And people question why I don't, uh, and and people question why I don't like this way. Paul, just don't worry about it. Fine, I will. <sighs> I'm sorry about him, Tyler. He's just um. He's been locked in <laughs> just shut up. So, just to clarify, I guess. So, um, he may be a bit uh, grumpy due to being uh, locked in, locked in a ship for 40 years. So, yeah. So yeah. Yeah, just tell him to go fuck himself for me. Just shut up, Will. Blood wishes him with steam. beneath us uh are far beneath us we we are more su superior than them so so we don't have to go idling in 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 those yards sh shunting them those uh tank engines sh shun them for us you know this but no you shun your own coaches well i i, I disagree with you there I think, I think that I did. I never just do uh, shut their own coaches from from time to time. Well, well, you may think that, but I completely, uh, 
Well, I completely uh, disagree with you, and especially with that thing right there. You know what? I think I'm going to I'm going, I'm going, uh, I'm going somewhere else. Don't disturb me. Good. Go to hell while you're at it. I like you would be a nice engine, but it turns out I'm not as correct. <laughs> you're fucking naive. You hear something? You want to rescue someone? They can now be cut, and then they do that to you. So I recommend what you do. When he returns, he's definitely going to return in like three seconds. Well, you're right about that. As it turns out, my train has been cancelled. It's... It's been quite a, 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 a else, I guess. I don't know. Hey! Hey, Paul, is it? I have a gift for you. Can I show it to you? Because as you're so big and mighty, I I'm beneath you. Yes. Yes. And I still think that way. I'm dead. That always works. <sighs> Since the big engine can't even handle more carry. Yeah, All I want annoying. for Chris. Well, are you proud of me? I might as well just I'll I'll lock myself back up in that chat if I have to deal with this. What from the Christmas music, my bro? Uh, oh. Will didn't know what to say. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. That was just because I want to. Don't worry, big guy. I have a better song for you. You will absolutely love it. Hip with all the kids. Now, hey, um, Paul, where are you, buddy? But Paul was far away from them. He was going right to the shed. Paul, Paul decided. Paul decided he would return, so then he could show his superiority over the tank engine. Well, why are you ignoring me now? Paul had oh. Oh, hey, buddy! Us tender engines are far oh, Us tender engines are far more su superior than you are. We have pulled, we have pulled trains that are over, oh, over nine miles. Oh. You tender engines can't, can't do. Go, go, go. Go, 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 me. Then Paul noticed, and Paul had noticed that he had made an escape. I hate the radio adverts. Marshmallow. 
said. Get Rick Crowell, motherfucker. Ah. But Paul, uh, but Paul, uh, but Paul wasn't going away. We're no strangers to love. Hey Paul, do you know how you hate that Christmas music? Christmas music I played. Yes. I have my lines. Well, I'm gonna play it. Come in, get me, big guy. Ha ha! And you are going to know that. We don't derail as easy, you fat. Yeah, you fat twat. You derail us have points. What else? You're the case of engines. The Muxdale coaches. The. The Hero Brine. The Hero Shine. The hero shite. Hey, as you're here. I don't care about the present under me. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. Still so sad, and you just fade out. Really, not a little okay. Bye, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Then he heard his voice from all around, and then it happened. This is BBC News at 6.02. This is the news. I think putting the date into law is as much as well it could. Why don't we say words? These arguments in the past. Yeah, he so, Wait. You know, make a difference. Well, on the one hand, you know, his arguments do <laughs> add some. <laughs> What's going on? 
Enter stranger but <laughs> What's going on there? And then This is this is BBC News on the radio. We've had a recommendation for an amazing song from an engine called Paul. Happy evening, Paul. Thank you for this recommendation of music. Beneath the Christmas tree.